Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Ameya and we are discussing different types of tracking devices. In previous videos, we talked about motion tracking as the first type of tracking devices. Now we are moving towards the second type that is eye tracking devices. Eye trackers are purely passive input devices used to determine where the user is looking. The eye tracking technology is primarily based on computer vision techniques. The device tracks users pupil using corneal reflections detected by the camera. Now these devices can be worn or can be embedded into the computer screen. making for much less obstructive interface for the user. A few of the examples are shown in the image. Other tracking systems other than vision based system, other eye tracking systems include electrooculography, which measures skin's electric potential difference using electrodes placed around your eye and embedded mechanical or optical reference objects in the contact lens that can be worn directly by the user. In general, the tracking system can be used as an evaluation tool or tracking device can be used as to interact with an application. As an evaluation tool, an example can be uh, the tracking device which is used in the context of the physiological experiments to get users applications usage patterns to help and improve the interface or for training in visual inspection tasks. Eye tracking systems as an input device is the example where user will try to control mouse pointer strictly with his or her eyes. In the context of 3D interface design, active eye tracking systems have the potential to improve upon many existing 3D interaction techniques. There are multiple techniques which are available in terms of gaze direction where user's head tracker is used as an approximation to where the user is looking. Eye tracking devices might help to improve these gaze direction techniques since the actual gaze from the user can be obtained directly using these eye tracking system. Now these are the basics of eye tracking system and how they are used into the virtual environments. That's all about this video. If you like this content, do subscribe my channel and keep following this playlist for more videos on VRN Automobiles. Thank you for joining.